welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to join the panel, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box to join the discussion and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. In a moment, I'm going to transition across to the hangout as we do have a guest in there waiting already. So I'll introduce them. But before I do, be sure to share the show as it increases the live audience of course but this in turn increases the chances of having a more diverse panel so please please share the show and one last time if you're new to the channel or you have not done so already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the flat earth debate and with that i'll say a warm hello to arwin how are you doing arwin good to have you here hey nathan thanks for having me again yeah i'm uh, doing great uh pleasure it's a bit weird what just happened there Oh, porn bombing. Yeah, these things happen. I mean, I'd already built up the secondary channel to almost a thousand subscribers and I was waiting for the day that I'd get porn bombed and not get it down or have something so controversial that it'd be taken down. I didn't think it was be porn that brought it down. I thought it'd be a bit more controversial, something that someone said, but there we go. Oh, well, <laughs> my grandiose illusions of what would bring the channel down weren't exactly fulfilled. But nonetheless, it's uh, one of those things, are we? Yeah. Well, I think it's a, it's a concerted effort to to find an alternative strategy to defeat us because it's not working. And uh, well, Lewis even uh, announced it like, yeah, this is not working. He was right. Even Globers can be right sometimes in their insights. And I think that this is just their new way like, okay, we're, we're just going to do the same thing as we did with Dread and just completely try to just shut down the show as quick as possible and uh, sneaking yeah using uh, their snipe systems to to get it in so fast or unnoticed by you through how the system works so they can get it done i think that's what happened because i did actually see that stuff like in the hangout stream itself i heard from others in the panel that they didn't see it but yeah, they sneaked it through somehow. Oh well. Yeah, like I say, I mean, it's a minor interruption for me. It's just, as I say, I've got three working channels, so, you know, it's no big deal. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass to reset up the stream key, which I've forgotten how to do, but I've figured that out in about, I don't know, 25 minutes. And we're back on the air, so it makes no odds, really. Not, no, well, not really. Just means I'm not on my main yep. channel, so it may not get such a wide audience for three months, but so be it. That's the way life goes. Yeah. Well, uh, we've been up and running and, and disturbed for a very long time. For, yeah, uh, a couple of months. Not have bad. you been uh, shut down before like this? or? It's my first ever strike of any description. Right. So, yeah, still uh, 98... Uh, 98 debates going un uninterrupted practically, so it's a, an amazing run, I'd say. Well, this is still number 99, we're still running. <laughs> it just means I've got to keep the screens actually attached and the boxes of people's displays covered. Well, one minor change, you live and learn. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about uh, how things are going with our progress that we alone seem to be able to even recognize that, that is a real thing as we uh, move forward uh, through the machinations of the uh, Globers. We're figuring yeah. it out one by one and I think uh, yeah that they're really struggling with their own uh, cognitive dissonance basically. It's like constantly yeah what do you do when you know you're wrong but you you're not allowed by yourself to admit it. Like a psychological backup system that just prevents you from letting it sink in. I think that's what's working here and that's what's driving them nuts, basically. And uh, yeah, I don't think they have many machinations left even. 
because even even now their uh, their CGI programs or well CGI like their calculation programs for the curve and everything, even we're seeing through that how that has been constructed with false formulas. Even that is becoming obvious. So, yeah, what's going to be left for them? It's going to be very small. It's going to be their pure fantasies, their their ball depiction with how the angle is supposed to work and us constantly reminding them, but yeah, we don't actually see that curve. And then they see, yeah, but it's not literally what you see here, but we're going to use it despite that because it looks like a ball. And that's all that really matters to them is that we're looking at balls and that we're looking at balls while we are trying to imagine how the world works. I think that's their final objective, the only one that they got left. Because all their reasons just completely psychotic. I'm only half paying attention. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've, I've just finished setting up a few things on right. the fly. That was, that was well, I, I think the public gets attention. It. Sorry. No, no problem. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're making headway. Uh, I love uh, how uh, Chris Monk has basically moved in and became part of the uh, Flat Earth team. And he's using all his, uh, C yeah, his CGI expertise and knowledge of his, uh, well, of his work, of his engineering. And he's a smart guy he really knows science and he knows how to distinguish real science from machinations and it's amazing what he's done what he's shown us and uh, yeah they don't like him <laughs> for obvious reasons of course because yeah an expert that's on the other side it's the it's the worst enemy of all but uh, yeah we're making a great headway and in my mind at least i know i'm not good at math i've I <laughs> admitted this doesn't make me stupid it's just my talent in that region is not that great it takes longer for me to work these things out comparatively to some other people that get through it pretty quickly they understand how how the system works how to use these formulas but they're less likely inclined to actually understand what it's all about they just know what they're seeing they know how to translate it into function they don't get it probably and uh, yeah i think uh, i think there's falsifications going on i think they are deliberately changing official measured data of how optics work and manipulating these formulas that have been perfectly devised through scientific measurement and everything and then manipulating it to fit their ball system like adding if yeah adding a few numerals adding a few values exchanging functions like saying the refraction is not that strong and is actually the real curve so they hide the curve well, the, the part of the curve that you actually get to see right there, that slant part, they always love to zoom in on and say that's everything. That part, yeah, they call it, that's the literal curve, but that's actually the pretty heavy effects of refraction, which is, uh, yeah, they hide how strong it is. Yeah, I agree. I think that's I mean, I've been... what it comes down to with all this. I was going to say, I've been... Oh, I've been joined by Tim Osman. How are you doing? Good to have you. Howdy, 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 howdy. No, Sorry that happened, you. but uh, hopefully you can figure out how to stop that crap. Well, I think I've got a workaround already in the 30 seconds. I'll sleep on how to make it a little bit more refined, but... Cool. I got... Tons of suggestions if you need them. So, but I, I promise I'm not trying to be your friend. Okay, we're already <laughs> friends, Nathan. You can't stop it. So, just embrace it. Yeah, man, I have. Anyway, I'm, Arwen, yeah, I'm embracing. It, you're it. exceptional at making claims and assertions that you can't back up or justify in any way possible. 
Yeah, you're very great uh, at making declarations of the imp impotence of other people without actually backing them up. Very, well, you just you just completely you were this. free to make declarations and claims right before I came. So, um, I guess you were being hypocritical. No, I actually made these claims, and then I gave an example and told you exactly how it was manipulated so no how is it okay i i must have missed that so you were talking about optics yeah, right yeah, you and seem then to the, miss a lot but yet you no no i just joined okay because it only started like 10 minutes ago so please go ahead that. so please go ahead it just started so go ahead I, I missed you saying it because this just started for me oh, yeah. so go ahead yeah okay well i'll say it again uh what i uh, i'm absolutely certain of by Thanks. now is that in the globe formulas that are used by you guys in your uh, CGI systems to represent how it's supposed to work, uh, I'm pretty certain that you are greatly diminishing the actual effect of refraction. And uh, yeah, you're switching it out for the curve, the uh, optical curve effect. And you're hiding what it's actually meaning and you're uh, manipulating the place and misrepresenting how it actually works that's okay, what I'm so so you said you know you know something and then you said you're pretty sure so which which is it first of all we'll, we'll get that out of the way are you pretty sure it was also i had we'll, my we'll suspicions well. i uh shared my suspicions with other people including ones that uh know a lot more about uh formulas and about uh well these types of systems and they actually looked into it and they confirmed it so yeah, they said, "Hey, this uh, so you this have certain, now anecdotal this certain evidence. approach has you have been exchanged evidence, and into something you different. don't know anything There's, about trigonometry, right? So, which formula have you falsified? Excuse me, what formula have which, I falsified? What? Yes, yes. What are you talking about? I haven't falsified You're saying that anything. there's a false there's a false formula that you figured out with you and your buddies that know math and you don't know math but you figured it out or whatever. So can you go into that? Well, I had my suspicion. I laid it out in front of the group and uh, they uh, looked into it themselves and they said, "Yeah, I found something that was wrong. Something that's not supposed okay, to be like that." Okay, what something is that and what equation are you speaking of? Uh, I You're don't know the equation, vaguely. and I don't remember the exact wording even ah, because it's okay. that stuff. Is, and it was spoken like uh, live; it wasn't uh, typed into the chat, so I can't. So we have claims, it. assertions, and yeah. anecdotal evidence. Yeah, and I'll as get proof. back to that. So that that's perfectly fine. Like you, you can now say, "Oh, you don't have it right now," and "Oh, it's all bullshit. It's all." I think I would remember if I like time. falsified that's like fine. curvature formulas that. or something, but right? We Wouldn't will I remember? bring it out eventually. It will. It'll, it'll show. Don't worry. Okay. Well, your suspicions were not proven here today because you forgot no, I know. what formula I know. you I don't falsified. Have it right first now. of all, yeah, it's great. Yeah. 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 But so that really shows that you're kind of lying. No, actually, it doesn't Arwen. do that at all. It just shows that uh, I found out something and I don't have uh, everything here to present it to your satisfaction level, which is. No, you, you haven't presented anything high. but claims, but assertions, more logical fallacies, and I anecdotal think that people evidence. They can make up their own minds and who to trust in this, and they will be looking out for this. I'm just being real with you, Arwen. You got nothing. You're, okay? nev you're never real. I'm being extremely real, and I think people that know me. And are not on the flatter no, side. Understand that I'm a real person. You don't even have a personality except for your nastiness. I will tell you when I'm wrong or when I learned something or anything. I yeah, love when I'm corrected because any the next time I will not say uh, it incorrectly. Attitude that you can to make yourself look like you're the. Authority. No, I don't care. What I do care about, Arwen, is that people are making money off of ignorant people that go around <laughs> yeah, and, and pretend money. that oh the earth God, is flat. We're getting okay? so rich here from doing all this. It's incredible. I said people. So like yeah, people, people like Bloodbuster like setting up oh, a 501c3, man, so other it's people. Incredible. All these people making money of us. Do you think they're not making money of all their other things that we're being forced to do in this society? That's called a neither here nor there argument. It's a no, logical fallacy. No, it's comparing it with the rest of everything that people can do. It's a neither here nor there argument. No, okay. it's just saying So we can, we can go through all the trivium if you want. If we're doing very good things here 
do, doing debates, making our arguments, doing this, or doing some job somewhere else in a company that has nothing to do with this, you're going to be making money for people. Rich people that I'm not are making probably going to make a all. lot more money in comparison than you from your work. And that's going to be what's going to happen. doesn't matter where you go. If you go in the hangouts or if how do you, you know what I do job. though? Because that's how, you how know the society what I do? has been designed for us. So, how do you know what I do and what I make, Arwen? I know what you do right here. Yeah. I know what you talk about. I know where your specialties seem to lie. I, I think I get a pretty clear picture of who you are. You know, well, you're crystal clear, needs. right? You, you've you've forgotten what formula that you falsified. Okay, you bring up yeah, anecdotal no, evidence. You talk to a group. You don't know who they are. Falsify anything. So you're you just you're bringing in that word ass, out of Arwen. nowhere every time, but that's just smear. Arwen, you're you're talking out your ass. Okay, you're lying to the audience. So please stop lying to no, the audience. No, you're smearing okay? me. You're smearing me, and you don't have any foundation to do it. Yeah, I do, because we no, just went don't. through your argument, and all you had was, like I said three times now, anecdotal evidence and claims and assertions. Okay, that's not an argument. Okay? No, but I'm not arguing about it. You're the one arguing. I'm just saying, look, this is what happened. I got this. It'll be coming. And you're just saying, oh, you're so stupid. You don't have it. And I said, yeah. I didn't say I you were stupid, Arwen. I said that you're now lying because oh, you don't lying, remember stupid, what you falsified. You don't remember it's which either. equation. It's always one of these. It's always that. So it's always the same thing that comes out of well, you. Well, I can put you in that dialectic, okay? It's very easy to, Arwen, because you've placed yourself in it, all right? You can put everyone in that dialectic. It's very easy for you to be very mean and to put people in the lowest place that you can imagine them to be. It's Listen, some people grow that from me. Some with people your understand what I'm doing here, and they grow, okay? And your Others play the victim card, okay? It's great Others play the victim talent. card. You it's are very, on the victim card. It's a very effective okay? matter of making people you can learn from me, they don't deserve it. Or you very can be a victim, okay? You're very good at That's what it. you do. That's the dialectic I'm putting you now in, okay? You can learn from me and your mistakes, or you can play the victim as you will continue to, okay? I'm not playing the victim here. You absolutely are. Why? How am I playing the victim here? Because I've come on, I've completely dismantled what you were saying right before I came in, and now you're saying that I'm slandering or I'm uh, No, you're not dismantling you. anything. You're just smearing people, and I'm defending myself with reason. That's not taking a... a a victim position that's calling that's called self-defense that's actually responding to your accusations and slander constantly Arwen, we're, we're on completely different me a levels liar. you have no foundation whatsoever you haven't even actually made the accusation of this lie clear as to what i'm actually lying about you're just calling me a liar just shoving that word in there every time you don't know you're what you're talking. You, you said that you've you've gotten with a group of people, right? And you've um, optically all this stuff about how you've um, basically yeah. falsified some curvature equation or no, something. No, I didn't hear you, you don't do even it again. Know. You don't falsified. Know the... Yeah, no, I didn't. Wouldn't do that, that be falsification? I figured out how you guys falsified it. No, no. no. Stop okay. turning the so words you around. It? You're you're trying to do a switcheroo here in my face. I'm not no, that stupid. Can you stupid. explain it then? I'm not. I tried blind, to get you dude. to explain it, but you're like, I forgot, and I'm not ready or something. No, it's like, well, you said, you think I you would know it if you're talking about it. Is. What I said is, I figured out what's wrong here, how it's working. And so can you explain that? The person that? that I shared this information with knows You're telling me that you path. figured he something out, into it, but and you can't he figured explain out, it. Yes, there's something seriously wrong. This formula is not how it should be. Can you explain it? No, because he didn't no. get into it that much. It was very late at night, and uh, I I will get back to him Arwen. about it. So You think I was born yesterday? Working, You're talking he to Timmy was Austin, working okay. on his model back then of the Isle of Man. It took a lot of work, and that's what he was working on. This guy is very busy. So so it's a person now, and it wasn't a group of people like you yeah, said before? It's Chris Monk. I mean, come it's on. Chris Monk. Come on. It's Chris okay, Monk. So it was a group of people, though, right? Well, now it's uh, Chris Nathan Monk. was there, uh, Anthony was there, I think Ranty was there as So you're well. talking about one of the hangouts, and you just no, kind of threw some ideas at him, and no, now you falsified. Skype not public. Everything. It was a Skype call. Arwen, 
you you live in your own delusions, bro. Okay, no, I'm trying to help you here. I don't know where you even get this. Like, why do you pull this out? It just has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. You're just trying to smear. Okay, let's me. change the subject. You're an agent. Let's change the subject. I think that you're I've, an evil uh, politicizing agent, and evil? you're constantly smearing everyone. Everyone, everyone is beneath you. You're a vile person. You need to go away. <laughs> If you had your way, I would, right? I mean, if all flat earthers had their way, I wouldn't be here, right? They would stay in their own echo chamber where they can go on and say any assertion, any claim. No, and not I'd love to, to speak that to actual honest people that will talk about their belief of the globe and will talk about their research because okay, I love this globe, I love this whole system, how it actually works, how let's talk about the globe. extensive I love the globe. it is. But you're not honest about anything. You're just so what am I not honest about? Machinations. You're what am I not honest about? Everything. You're just you're just here to make flat earthers look stupid. That's your job. No, you're flat not earthers here for make science. You're not stupid. here to figure out the truth. You're okay. not here it's to concede on any flat earth. any error on your side ever. Just walk no, around and talk before, but around I learned from my error. Okay. You're very good at that. So I, I don't trust you with anything. You're not a scientist. You're so a politicized you agent, and you're just here to smear flat earthers. No, I'm I'm here to help people like yourself get yeah, out of their I own delusions that they put themselves in. Need your mind control help. The globe, then, Arwen. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's talk about the globe. What is wrong with the spherical model in terms of the latitude and longitude system in accordance with the uh, celestial sphere? That has been known for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Myth. What's wrong with that, that? Well, the wrong thing with it is the base assumptions that any of the heavenly bodies are physical objects to which you have no proof. What I'm would it make a difference? Very well, let's, let's, let's go. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. So what would it make a difference if they were not physical objects? What difference would that make? Well, then, if they're not physical objects and if they're not in literal locations, well... At that point, you can't use them for any type of triangulation or any type of distance-relating or size-relating experiment to figure out the shape of the Earth. So what evidence do you have that they're not physical objects then, Arwen? No, I'll turn that the other way around and that say that you don't have any evidence that they are physical objects. Okay, well, your definition of physical objects, I wouldn't be able to basically triangulate things and all this kind of stuff. So I'll tell you that you could do this yourself, Arwen. You can no, move I know. Yeah, miles. I know oh, okay. trigonometry. Yeah, I know the whole story. Oh, no, 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 no. Very simple. Very simple stuff. Very simple stuff. Look. Oh, yeah. You I can move point 60... the laser okay. at the moon and that's reflected. It'll tell everything. No, no, no. no. Let, let me speak before you try to put words in my mouth. Okay, okay. Arwen? So you can move 69 miles, right? And you can look up at a star, say Polaris or wherever you're at. You can yeah, pick I any star yeah, in the sky. Too, listen, gratitude. listen, just listen. Okay, this is this is facts of reality. If the stars are intangible, if they're tangible, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can move 69 miles north, south, east, or west. Okay, all of the stars will shift one degree. It's very beautiful. One degree, right? So you go further 69 miles. All of them will shift another degree, right? So if you go right back to where you were, they're going to shift right back, okay? So this is, this is, I guess, evidence that they're physical objects and that they no, can be no, triangulated. that's complete, utter bullshit. The only thing you Let's got is first degrees. Of all, how is you bull, just though? got degrees. The only thing you have is a heaven that seems to correlate its rotational angle. It's all angles with the position on the earth so there so is a tie-in that's the to, only tie-in okay, so you have so how else are you going to determine if they're physical or not then Arwen? are you just saying they're not physical you're not just to say that or you want that's the whole thing you want okay, so i had evidence that you could go and cooperate no, okay so evidence. what evidence you do you have, have that they're not physical the objects are, Arwen? are correlating to the location on the earth you only have angles. What That's all you, you have. have. It's the only thing you have. You don't have any literal distance. You don't have any literal size. No proof. Doesn't matter. At all. I'll give you. I'll give you that the Earth is geocentric. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll give it that to you. It's still a sphere. Okay. And these observations no, that I'm telling you. it's not a sphere because there's no curvature. A literal sphere would not allow to see that far 
as we've shown you many times. Okay, well, anytime that you see no what looks like curvature, no fake refraction formula can undo the say literal say curve that you get to see. That it's refraction or whatever, right? Curve linear Brenda, perspective is a new one. You should go with that. It's a good one. Hi, Dan Brenda. Good to have you. Good afternoon or evening. Earth to Brenda. Hey, I Brenda. Said, Hello. Can you hear me? Howdy. I can. You can hear you now. Okay. So yeah, he's he's going into the tangible, untangible, um, physical, and non-physical stars. Well, Do you have anything to add? Lack to that? of proof on your side that they are physical objects. Well, how about your assertion that they're not physical, okay? How about that? So do you have any evidence? I'm not going to ask you for proof because I know you don't have any. Do you have any evidence that they're not physical objects? Go ahead. Yeah, plenty. Okay, go ahead, please. Well, just uh, look at the, how the moon responds, for example. And We're talking about stars, how first of all. All the stars. heavenly disks rotate around their own center which makes no what? sense physically not, at all do, that they do that. Rotation makes no sense physically? No. Uh, yeah. Rotate exactly around their axis, exactly pointed at what? the observer. It's what do you, we're talking really, about stars, like are clock, we? Like a clock to the observer, they rotate around their middle point clockwise. The moon Isn't moon rotation a physical does, thing? All of it does. Isn't rotation a physical thing? Can non-physical things it's rotate? It's illogical for any physical object out there, if they were all rotating, to rotate exactly, exactly at that angle pointing at us, at the observer. It so is what are we talking about exactly? I thought we were talking about the stars. To happen Hold on. I thought we were talking about the stars, first of all. Now you're going on about rotations and all this. No, kind. Are, you are you saying that the stars the are rotating? the behavior of the heavenly objects and the observations that we make and the conclusions that we can draw from those. So the likelihood what do you mean of those observations correlating with how physical objects could behave in theoretical scenario as the globe space are you talking cosmos. about like the spin is in rotation or are you talking about the actual no, stars rotating themselves i'm not talking about themselves? theoretical spin or even the spin of the heavenly well, then what are you talking globe about, around i'm talking about every the sun the moon the heavenly body discs the things that we get to see how they rotate around their axis perfectly straight like how do you say uh, well we were talking about the stars arwen the stars, dude. No, I'm talking about the moon and the sun. They're also heavy. Okay, well, we were talking about something, and then you just kind of veered off into the sun and the moon. You asked me for proof that they are holographic. Well, there you go. This is one of my proofs. That's not proof. Yeah, it is okay? proof. It's not it even is, evidence. The, the superb unlikelihood of physical objects rotating in that manner, all of them, exactly in accordance to the, ob to the observer, is absolutely abysmal it is impossible for such a thing to occur theoretically you could not simulate that with all so the, the it's impossible the even world. on the theoretical level arwin it's impossible on the theoretical level do you even uh, do you even understand what you're saying are you just yeah. like saying catchphrases or something i didn't say no more. no it's Good it's w. theoretically impossible for a physical objects to all rotate exactly you can on theorize an angle in accordance to okay. the observer around the earth like that if you there is gravity anything, if there is orbit Arwen. this is impossible you you are completely theorizing everything that you say okay nothing theory on theory the is impossible observations that we get to see the actual observations everybody can make I had to go take so, the pot off the stove. So where are we at now? I don't know, dude. This I'm is insane. Rotating insanity. disks of the sun and moon. Yes, Sunspots rotate yes. clockwise exactly. Not like, like halfway, like we see Saturn in images, for example, that it would go over it. No, it rotates around a circle like a clock, exactly like that in accordance to the observer every time. You're, All you're of them. talking about star trails? And no, uh, I'm talking he's, about he's the sun and conflating the moon. things. He's talking about rotation, and then really he's talking about the spin, and then it, it's just the really... rotation of the disk that we get to see. Like what disk? On the what disk, disk of the sun, they rotate clockwise every time. What are you and talking so about? so does the moon. Arwen. Even You can Arwen. see with what the moon it, even easier because of the darkened side, it rotates with it. 
You don't even know what you're yeah, talking I know exactly about. You're trying what to I'm falsify something and you don't exactly even understand it. exactly what I'm talking about. Arwen? Clockwise rotations of the sunspots on the, on, on the sun? Yeah. You've lost no, it. I haven't lost if you it ever all. had it, okay. You lost Go it. Go to, uh, what's his name now? Uh, the Seeker. So the sun is a ball, uh, right? She has uh, hangouts uh, where she made uh, this video herself with her own uh, very so, uh, physical, like a telescope, not uh, a digital telescope. Yeah, I know. I've seen her. Yeah. I've seen her, well, I've seen her videos. That's real She's stuff. almost as crazy as you are. Yeah, doesn't matter uh, what her uh, state of sanity is. What matters is, um, is that the work that she actually <laughs> brought forth, the things that she recorded and then presented as proof. Okay, okay well, guys, what, we've been what drawn by you guys. Sorry, Baron Devo with me. We've been drawn by Channel Q. How are you doing, Channel Q? Good to have you. Happy New Year okay, to you, too. Good to have you. Okay, what, <laughs> what she was talking about, Arwen, was a phenomenon that we can observe of, of sunspots tending to get pulled towards the equator of the sun because the sun is a hot ball of gas. So no, um, the, the, that's not some, some what of, she some of the says. Bands, yeah, I know. Some of the bands uh, move at different rates. So sunspots that are um, in, in, in a lower um, or higher um, latitude on the sun will have a tendency to get pulled towards the equator because that's moving faster. And so you get this turbulent action. I remember watching her videos and then looking up the phenomenon that she was talking about. And it is something that is known and discussed um, by, by scientists. Um, in general, sunspots rotate about the earth and then, and then they sort of gradually get moved because the the sun is a hot ball of gas. It, it, um, it, it, the different latitudes move at different rates. That's a very interesting uh, scientism uh, explanation it's not scientism. for that. But uh, it doesn't detract from what the actual perception shown. That is that they are disks, and that they rotate around. Yeah, I, 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 saw her, I saw her video. I saw her video. Does her it? Box. So, and, and Arwen, so Arwen, do you know what Arwen? Let me just let me just ask you. Do you know what lunar libration is? No, but you're gonna explain okay. it to me, and then. Okay, so ahead. do we only see one side of the disc? Go ahead. Moon. Just wondering. No, I, I, I'm not in. Look, I'm not into all of these machinations because I'm not obsessed with trying to prove the ball. So you I don't debunk need things. that religion. You I don't care about all of that. Things, I just learn about it because you present objects. it to me every time as some and you don't know simple as to why things it's a ball. About so then I have to what learn you know? it just to be able to defend myself. So so go ahead and go to Google.com. Go to go to Google.com and and learn about no. lunar libration. L I B E R A T I O N. Okay, libration is something that you could observe yourself yeah. if the sun, if the moon was a popsicle. Doesn't matter. Okay, so go look it up, and go figure it out, and go do, and disprove it. Okay, because we can see more than fifty nine percent of Why the moon. Why would I want to disprove? Because you're you're supposedly disproving things at the beginning of this conversation. Why would And then I, what, when we get through the I meat of it, you can't disprove the thing anything. that you're now trying to because, because tell me to learn about. Why would I want to do that? Because it because, disproves what you're saying. Okay. And, and because oh, you want to know the truth. It says it it doesn't you actually. It's truth. not. We don't get to see a disc that actually rotates around its center point clockwise. Right, I'm just going to introduce, it disprove, sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt you. I've waited too long. So we've been joined by Flamingo. How are you doing, Flamingo? Can you hear us? What about me? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? I did try and introduce you earlier. <laughs> How are you doing, Sleeping hey, Warrior? Anthony. Can you all hear me? Yeah, hey, okay. we can. You're getting, you're getting, you're getting paid, Riley. So that, that should be enough. <laughs> I just want to ask Arwen. Um, God, a person about, gets uh, paid. Go ahead, Flamingo. God, that, Go ahead, we Flamingo. can't have that in this world. Every What's up, Flamingo? I want, to, I want to ask Arwen about our observations that we make, like on the moon. I can't prove it because we can't touch it, but it certainly appears to be physical. 
picture right now. Yeah, that I know. I but the appearance is deceived. It's only proof that you can rely upon in science. Sorry. But you can yeah. compare it to observations on Earth, such as mountains with shadows behind them. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, so what that is, then we can't any? prove the no, Earth is physical. It doesn't prove anything. anything. People in airplanes can't prove the Earth is physical because they're just looking at it, right? They can't prove no, it until they, they can when they get the out of the plane. So that's a, that's a non-comparison. It's stupid. I'm joined by epistemology. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How are you doing, epistemology, Katavia? That's a logical fallacy. Well, uh, well, just bear with me one second. I just want to say hello to the new guest. Just takes ten seconds if you all just button it for just a few moments. How are you doing, epistemology? <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Sorry about what happened to you earlier there, Nathan. Uh, I was expecting it to happen a lot sooner, so I'm quite pleased with how long the room was on the main channel. But three months from now, back on the main channel, won't make any difference. What, what happened? It's got porn bombed, so we're on the secondary channel now. Not that anyone will notice. What I will say is, if you're in the chat, you probably don't realise you're not subscribed, so subscribe, because this is actually the backup channel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, Arwen, if if somebody lived on a balloon that was floating above the Earth, and, and they were born and raised there, and they lived their whole life there, how could they know that the Earth was uh, real? They couldn't. They can't they know. Off. You can't know that the Earth is real if you lived on a balloon. You can only really? know, absolutely know, if you can actually prove it. Hey, guys, we are actually you we like, are questioning the ramblings the of a madman. Riley, are you here? Do you, you do you know. want to um, do you want to change the subject, Riley? By any chance, are you here for any of this? No, no, you have to suffer through it some longer. And no, 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 no. Like, it doesn't. It's I am here. I'm just you. waiting for a gap. Okay, yeah, so go, yeah, go Arwen, ahead, Riley. Go ahead. Arwen, no, no, it's Arwen. okay. Arwen's on a roll. I'll leave him with it. Okay. So, Arwen, um, even if you land the balloon, how do you prove that the Earth is material? Well, if there's something to land on and the balloon is physical that, and you, you can get out of balloon proof? and actually step on there, then you can prove that how there's that something proof? physical how's, you land on. How is that proof? How is that proof? That's not proof. It is proof to you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How? Because you're the one doing it. No, explain to me how it would be proof for me to land that balloon that's how I was, it works i was i would lived all my life on a balloon yeah no you can't prove that it will actually work until you do it well how can i i land the balloon how do i prove that the ground that i'm standing on is real that's your by claim touching it Max. by how measuring does, it how up. does that prove how does that prove? by touching it and by measuring it up i could be deceived though couldn't i well, only if you would be severely hallucinating and actually not I could where be. you really were. I could be, though, couldn't I? Yeah, of course you could. I could. So that wouldn't be proof. It all depends on if, whether you find out or not. How would I find out if I yeah, can't Yeah, that know? you are actually hallucinating when that happens. How would I know? How would I know the difference? You wouldn't until you would. I wouldn't know the difference therefore i couldn't prove that i was on the ground could i congratulations you prove now that you can't basically prove anything that includes the no. ball by the way I mean, now we're getting into a solipsism argument well i I'm, I'm showing how absurd his position is that it leads to solipsism it's not absurdity, it's honesty, and it's when you, real when logic. You deny, right. When you deny everything except your, your uh, immediate sensory input as, as evidence for something, then, then, you, then you inevitably have to retreat into solipsism. See, see normal people well, that depends don't need, on how much you know, you, whatever I am confronted with, how much of that I would draw into doubt. And for what reason? A, a, a oh. terrible pessimist and somebody that doesn't trust anyone, a fearful person, you they doubt, would definitely go uh, totally solipsis. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what your argument is. No, that's not what my argument yeah, is. It is. You, said, you said that I can't know that the earth is made out of matter if I'm in a balloon. Or when no, you once I made the argument saying, that, that, that hey, the if you're not there, if you can't touch or, it, you can't prove it. 
Arwen, you made you made you made you suggested to me that the celestial bodies could just be individual holograms that are put in our brains by a mischievous creator force. That's 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 solipsism no, right there. This whole, this, no, no, no. This whole idea that, that you're that's in the, your wording. Your, no, I'm just you know, saying it's part that. of that's the design. Awesome, I'm saying it's part of the design. Part of the design that you're going to be fed. You're going to be fed it's probably because of the eyeballs. You think something is there when it's not, right? Sorry. Again. One of the arguments that you made was that we each have our own individual projection of the celestial bodies that goes into our head by our by our mischievous creator force. No, I'm not saying mischievous. You're the one that's constantly dragging that word. No, no, no. But you said that he was there to fool us. So that's why I'm calling him mischievous. As you said that he was doing it purposely to fool us into thinking we live on a sphere. Well, fooling. Because you acknowledge that the celestial bodies well, depend, can work it, on a It depends earth. on a matter of perspective and priorities, like long-term priorities. What if he wouldn't have done so, this? So you're going to apply perspective to, to hard solipsism. <laughs> I don't see what kind of statement you're really making here. I mean, if you're going to go down the solipsism route, then the earth could very well be flat. Could be a ball too. It also could be, um, could be anything. It doesn't really matter anything. anymore then. Exactly. Yeah, could, but could I don't little... go there. That that's your inevitable route. That's the only place that you can eventually. No, go but to. I don't. I see. I don't ever choose solipsism as a solution for anything. Yeah, I go into the fine. world. Yeah, you can keep on fighting for the dream, but once you find out it's fake, then there's no it's other road to go, or it's you just give in and you follow the truth. truth. You actually start to figure out what the truth is. Arwen, and you notice that's not that easy. It, it's not. There's no solution to the the problem of solipsism. Which is why it's imppractical to go down the road. It's much more practical to make the assumption that 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 it's we can. It's much make more practical to lie. I know that's how this world works. That's why you do what it's you. It's not do. practical to lie. It's practical to assume yeah, that. Yeah, it is. It's very product. practical to lie. That's why politicians are in power. I don't see how anybody can look at the picture that I'm looking at. It's not physical. I just don't see it. I don't see how anyone could look at this picture that I'm looking at and say that it's see-through or a hologram or not physical. It's a rock. It looks like a rock. If it quacks like a duck, it must be a duck, right? Mm, it needs a bit more than a quack to make it a duck. I'm just it saying. Needs to, it needs I mean, to look it like looks a like a rock. It looks like a rock. Yeah, I've seen paintings that look real too. It doesn't make them real. This isn't a painting in the sky. If it's a hologram, then it is. Projected from where? I don't know. So your argument from ignorance is not a valid argument. Neither is your claim on something that you absolutely don't I'm not arguing from ignorance. ignorance. I'm making an assertion that you yeah, can't disprove. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can imagine it, whatever it to be. You can draw a conclusion that, hey, if it must look real, then it must be real, as I imagine it to be. Doesn't make it real. If I could just interrupt for a minute and request the presence of Al K. Um, I, he did have a, a live chat before, and I caught some of it, and I just have a couple of questions to pose to him. So if you're out there, Al K., please could you come in, and um, I'd like to request some information from you. Thank you. Arwen, if we go on through, if we go through life with the assumption that someone is projecting thoughts into our brain, it's just a useless no, assumption. Thoughts, this basically means that. No, I'm not saying I'm not talking even about projection. That's your imagination about it. No, no, no. It's not being projected <laughs> in our brains. I'm saying it's an intricate part of the design of this world, including our eyes. It's but the a reason part of the nature of optics, even and in this world, that's what I'm saying. It's an inherent. It's it's part of the nature of art. That's a side effect of how this world is. I don't know how like it works, but it seems to work not. like that. 
you're saying that it's in the nature of optics to for all the celestial bodies to make it appear like we're on a sphere, but in actuality, we're not. Yes. Right? Is that what you're saying? Why would you assume that we're not? Why would we go to that road? Why would we go to assume that there's a deceitful... Because the math doesn't add up. It's not a ball. And we've been disproving that for months now. What, what doesn't add up? It. What doesn't but add if up? If the physical evidence doesn't work out, then you can assume anything. But we it haven't seen any physical real. evidence that doesn't work out. <laughs> All your globe stuff doesn't work out. Yeah, there's no curve. You can see yeah, way too far. Your, for your formulas are fraudulent. You're making oh, all really? of this crap Give up. You're just trying to make the globe real, and you don't care about the truth when it really comes down. It not if the globe is at risk. You don't care about the truth at right. all. You just so, want it to be the globe, and you so, want to stop us talking about it. That's so right. for you, it's it's far more likely that there's this grand conspiracy that everyone that you know everyone from aviation to you know space based communication systems to every, you know uh astrophysicists geodic surveyors everyone is somehow deceited for you know, you know has been deceived for how many centuries now and no uh, one has been part of them, them figure it out yeah. except for a few people on the internet that so far most of them seem like they're borderline unemployed uh none of them have any kind of credentials right in any kind of a scientific background that they've been yeah, able but to you don't get that unless you actually work with the program so but but why isn't why isn't there any why isn't there any PhD level scientists um, that have figured this out and they're part of the flat Earth movement, right? Why hasn't why hasn't there been one? I mean, there's how many billion people? Because on the planet those that types that? of things can be retracted, and also it's a great they're, risk they're for your further here, career. So most debating. scientists just avoid it like the plague. They're not on here it debating. It is taboo. It is scientific taboo. Yeah, but some of these scientists might want to know the truth, and they they're smart enough to figure it out. There's smart people yeah, out there, right? Usually, those types of scientists are smart enough not to talk people? about it in public because they don't want to lose their careers. Because it's not about the when truth. It's about politics. It's about plenty, power base, and that plenty, and they know this. Them, plenty of one scientists have lost their career not pursuing things that they think were martyr. true. Even though it goes against the yeah, grain. Yeah, but they did that because they thought they could actually make that happen. They could actually make that manifest in the world as it is. There's, Scientists don't think they can manifest flat Earth because there, once they really figure it out, they start to realize level, how many machinations are out there, how much money is made with it. They're going to have a huge amount of enemies. But, but Erwin, there's PhD scientists, scientists out there are still dependent that are on money to survive. That, They're that, not going to get their money if they don't work with the program. How do people make money off of denying that the Earth is flat? Well, with all the possible machinations that come out of it, like satellites, all the scams, all the options of fairy tale technology that what actually scams? is unnecessary what scams that you, that you don't really need to are... use that you can make money off by making the public believe that it actually works like that they'll pay for it and they'll love the dream of They're... the globe at the same Arwen, time there are no and you get your money you can prove. and these are all your the technology so your paranoid schizophrenia yeah that's sure. what that is no. these are not scams it out. Sorry, this is not. your delusions no. So um, they make money by having an entire department of the U.S. government devoted to spending money to create this scam so that they can make money doing what? Well, for scientific research, secret stuff, black budget stuff, there's like CG, making CGI and fooling the public is a lot cheaper than spending so real resources for these types of thing, if it would but wait a minute, be real. Wait a minute. So you I have a lot, you only need a, a fraction of the money for the but CGI, for the trickery, for the media apparatus, Arwen, for the influence, for the bribes. Arwen, I have, and the rest I have, of the money you and get to spend on whatever you want. Military projects, mind control projects, it's all kept secret. It's, it's, a, it's a perfect cover because but everybody Arwen, believes I it's spent on rockets in aerospace that are involved in, in building stuff that they think really goes to space. Right. And it, it involves yeah. thousands of people, lots of documents, lots of engineers, yeah, I know, lots they of build, workshops, they the whole process. They watch it get loaded it's into the rocket. 
It they enforces the, the belief like nothing else. So if you build a satellite with in. your hands, you will believe that it is real but they actually because you invested them. in it personally. They build right, those rockets. But ultimately, you go to the museum and look at them. They're not fake. Yeah, you perfect. can go and watch it through the it's whole. Right process. there. So everything about what's been told about it must be real because you see that thing there. Look, uh, uh, um, when when a billion dollar company goes and builds, a, you know, goes out and says we need to build a satellite to do this this particular task, and then you have thousands of engineers and project managers and. And, and, and everyone all along this long path of yeah, things. To get that's that a lot built. of illusionary employers. Now, it's usually just one contact. He'll arrange everything and he'll but keep there, all the, all the, the stuff to himself. Maybe fabricate so some documents people. to make it they look like there was really projects. something happening. That, it's very that, easy to fake this. Wait a minute. So, Arwen, are and you saying a that lot of money? Are you saying these thousands of engineers that are employed to build this stuff, is they're all on fool's errands? Is that what you're saying? Yep. They're all they're in an industry of fool's errands. Yes. That's a lot of but, money to spend. But on there are space. some space benefits stuff. to building these things that are meant for space because in the meantime they're figuring out uh, how to minute, get on, on. how to design right objects there. to get through more difficult environments. This is just but what how their research right that can still so you be have utilized one, Irwin. in retrospect. You have one. So it's not completely it's just Arwen. not what they think it's for. Arwen, you have one group of engineers that are thinking that they're building, let's say, a cluster of satellites for the Iridium network that's going to give global communication across the, any place on Earth you'll be able to do global communication, right? So yeah. you have one set of engineers that are designing that. That mm. means you have to have a black department of engineers that are building a system that's based on flat earth physics, right? Balloons or whatever nonsense you guys think. No, no you don't need that at it. all. No, no. The thing is, you just because have ultimately, people that I build a set. Can I, can I explain, I can can I explain how it works? Can I explain it? Okay. Uh, you have the people that build these satellites. I think, yeah, this is going to be used for that project. They build their stuff. Then they hand it over usually to NASA, some kind of contact person that actually has the authority to send things up into space, which normal citizens, of course, are not allowed to. And they actually do everything. They program it in and then they give the data, they give the connect like here, here you can look it up here on this computer. This keeps track of it. It's very, usually very simple program, all prefab. They all have this figured out how to fool easily you using a simple computer systems for that simple programs to emulate all the formulas, all conform to the latest uh, globe systems and everything, all the machinations. So yeah, it's very cheap. They got it all figured out, all advanced. But anybody with a telescope can, can prove them wrong. They can't fool no. you though, right? You, you can't be fooled though. No, no, you still you have, all figured there's out. still There's still a no single satellite whatsoever. to be seen, uh, really? so. Wait a or a, like a, identified as a real satellite, not just a they fake. Can fool, uh, they could fool PhD somewhere. physicists, but they can't fool a handful of numbskulls on the internet. Well, so how did you? How yes, did you decide? the thing how is, you, once you're invested you enough, that? once you've dedicated your entire life to this type of machination, uh, believing that it's real, then it becomes a religion to you because you invest your entire life. When you then start to disbelieve. Every honor, every honor you got, everything that was that? good about it that you guest, Arwen. Taken Sorry to interrupt and taken you. for your ego is lost. Sorry, Arwen. We've been joined by David. How are you doing, David? Oh, wait. Oh, hi. This is near base. Sorry. Pretty quiet. Oh, Arwen, hi. you don't realize how ridiculous your assertion is. Th th this idea that you're going to have thousands of... of, of, of people that are working on a project to to create a device that will produce a certain uh that'll provide a certain service that means you ultimately in the end you do have this service right like if you buy an iridium if you buy an iridium phone or an iridium pager you can yeah. go in the middle of the pacific ocean on your sailboat and you can use it right i know so, so obviously there's a device that works which means that yeah. some yeah engine, you know what that device that, is that, that a means really that high tower I, with a really powerful emitter that's what that device is no but these but uh, what are you talking about i have an iridium pager that is like 
you know, that only runs off a few watts. It runs off a tiny battery. It's the size yeah, of a pager. It, that's oh, called progress in technology. Where are these towers at? Hard to figure where out. are these towers at? Are they are they hidden in camo or something like that? Can we not go to them and see them? Where, where are these base? really high towers at? How you doing, base? Well, they're everywhere. They're radio towers. Arwen, we just get the emitters oh, okay. to work better. Right. Uh, they improve Arwen, the technology. They make them more efficient, right. make the, their Arwen, reach better, make their, their clarity Arwen. better. That's does what that, that is. Mean, does that not mean that you have to have a bunch of engineers that are designing things to work on a flat earth that, that is not space-based, that are designing this equipment to no, work on a flat earth? But they don't need to know. The engineers that make their devices don't even need to know. If so it's going to work on a flat earth or system, on a round without, earth, they just need to make their specific plane. piece of machinery work as promised. That's what they're designed. That's what they are doing. So you're it doesn't saying, matter to them if it's a flat earth a team or a round. Hold on, just to be clear, Erwin, you're saying a team of engineers is, is can design a global communication system that they're actually designing to work on a flat earth Without well, they, them knowing it, yes. They believe they okay, believe to be honest, they need to that they need this satellite for this device to work, but yet it's working without the satellite. How does epistemology, that work? if a team of engineers are working on a flat earth, then that's totally practical and reasonable in my opinion, if all the same group of people are able to persuade you that we live on a ball. No, no, but 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 what I'm saying is you have a whole team of engineers that design this satellite, which 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 Arwen just said is a fool's errand because it just gets splashed into the ocean, right? No, 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 no. Doesn't nest. No, usually it doesn't even get launched. Don't need to. No, no, no. But no, no. I can go on base and I can watch it get loaded into the nose cone of they the. They will still be rocket. able to util utilize some of this machinery that is made for other functions like no, 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 or drones, that type the, of thing. You can you can physically go and watch the the payload get loaded into the nose cone of the satellite. I mean, yeah. of the nose cone of the rocket. You can watch a satellite well, get loaded into the nose cone of the yeah. rocket and then watch that get put onto the, raised up into the stand. All right. Right. And then you watch oh. it get launched, which means that. Okay. That well, in that case, it would definitely mean that it's going to crash in the ocean. Into the ocean yes. Right. Yeah. So they spent all this money. So this is how they make their money, is that they have two systems. One is a huge system to deceive everybody into thinking that they're making satellites and launching them into orbit off mm -hmm. of these incredibly expensive right. rockets. And then the other system no, not is a expensive. global system of towers. Rockets yeah, it's that all, it, it, that's how they make their money, is by having a duplicate system. That is Arwin, designed to see everybody. Your rockets are not that crazy. expensive. Arwin, can I say something to you? Yeah. I don't expect Arwin to be an expert in science and and um, like what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm rocket not. research, rocket science. No, I'm, not him, I'm not asking him how any of this stuff works. So we are coming up on one hour of streaming on this my backup channel. So I'm going to pester the audience once more to share the show on social media more than ever as the show will be running on this the backup channel for the foreseeable future. So subscribe if you've not done so already. If you would like to join the debate there is a link in the info box below this video. Simply mute the page you are currently watching then click that link to join the discussion and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout number one please don't swear if you do you'll be ejected and if you are please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts you'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream one more time if you're new to this my backup channel be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the flat earth debate if you're watching this on the re-upload on nathan oakley 1980 channel be sure to click the link below this video to subscribe to nathan oakley channel to keep up to date with the flat earth debate balloons with radar like all sorts of stuff that basically an array of balloons that are basically producing this imagery that we're calling is coming from space but really it's coming you're from talking a about people. photography like one example what, 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 what he's actually like, asking you he's asking you to be an expert in um, nasa no, 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 science i'm not asking to, to be an expert what i'm saying is you guys have conceded that the Himawari satellite is producing imagery. You guys are just saying, well, that imagery is produced by other means, by yes. a, a ray of I, I a, a ray of balloons or whatever, right? No, it doesn't I agree need with that. to be that. There are, are, are perfect, super advanced spy planes now that can make okay. like the most amazing it, photography, and they just use that generally. 
we could call it a fleet of spy planes, okay? No, we just a few, that- just two or something. They just go around the spy earth, plane? take a few wait, photos, and you've got a perfectly a clear of, snapshot of, 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 of everything. Wait a minute, you're saying two, two, two yeah. spy planes can snap a yeah. picture? A flyover, the- it's called a flyover. Two pictures? I mean, two spy no. planes can show us the weather all over one side of the earth every 10 minutes? No, not every 10 minutes. They don't, well, they they don't, don't live every 10 video minutes. pictures for that. It puts up a fresh that. image every 10 minutes. They don't need it's live a- video pictures to do that. But the Himalayas Those are models. It's all computer models. A weather, image, a weather image of all the weather on that particular side of the earth every 10 minutes. And, and, and meteorologists all over the earth depend on that data, which means that data is accurate. Right, which means if it's not being done with the you have to actually show me that data because I don't think that's literal photography. How do you know? I don't, but that's what. So you don't know. So you don't know. You're just guessing. Yeah. Yeah, you're just guessing. In this case, good good job, Arwen. You're just Arwen. Ultimately, let's say let's say that you. I'm gonna. We'll grant that that it can be done with two 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 secret satellite planes. Or, or uh, planes to replace the satellites, right? Two, two, two top secret spy satel- uh, spy planes can do these imagery, right? Which still means that someone has to design them to do that. Someone has to service them. Someone has to fly them. Someone has to process the data. That There's the still a lot of people exist. involved here just for this one particular, just for, for doing what the Himalari satellite does, right? No, it's the other way but there's around. Lots of satellites doing lots of this, they're being used for military well operations the for decades. They admitted that they exist officially, and they just double for this type of function. Because why not? Why why wouldn't you? You have this thing already. You can use it for that. You don't even need satellites, basically. Just use okay, this. Like for example, it's a lot cheaper. Like like I like to use the iridium example, right? Because people can go on their sailboat and use their iridium device to talk in the middle of the Pacific, right? But ham ham operators, right? Amateur radio guys that put the huge antennas on top of their roof and they have like hundreds of, of watts or thousands, even some of them, of watts of power, they can't talk to everyone all over the earth, right? Yeah. Under very okay. specific conditions, under at nighttime, they can try to bounce it off the ionosphere, but it's very <laughs> inconsistent and it's not reliable and it doesn't work during the daytime, right? But somebody, some scientist has designed a way for someone with a low powered device that fits in your pocket to be able to talk to to, to be able to talk in the middle of the Pacific Ocean yeah. on a sailboat, right? Which means yeah. that someone designed that knowing that the Earth was not uh, well, was not round, maybe, right? Someone had to design maybe. that system to work doesn't, on a flat Earth. It doesn't need to be involved even. It's just a new level of technology perhaps. Erwin, you're and they're just not giving it public. doesn't know anything it's about RF and radio, saying how it right? works. So, but Arwen, you're speaking from a position of ignorance because you don't know anything about radio or RF, right? Which I don't expect you to, but for, for you to say that you can just do this is a ridiculous assertion because anyone that spent their whole career on this, like George Hotnick, right, who's an electrical engineer, he can tell you, well, there's the reasons why this can be not work the way that you think because it violates everything that we've ever tested. Okay, well, that 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 is uh that but that's why like that's why i'm saying it's a ridiculous uh, assertion I would to and say yeah sure but yeah the, you don't need satellites for any of it could be that uh, by now that they that's have utilized that's balloon programs it's well known that nasa has assertion. been launching many balloons in the in the last uh, in the recent few years so maybe they have been using balloon satellites for this type of thing specifically because it it can work and yeah why not use balloons it's very easy so, so so let me give you an example right so your local fm radio right they have a huge tower somewhere on either on a very very t- a tall tower or on top of a, a, a hill or a mountain right usually the higher they can get it the better to serve an area right mm-hmm. and then they have they have to put thousands of watts into that into that transmission to try and get as much area covered as possible yet Anyone that's driven a car knows you drive, you know, you drive 50, 60 miles away yeah. and now that radio station, you don't receive it anymore, right? Yeah, but it's the sa- that's that same reason why satellites are, dis- are difficult to accept for flat earthers because you need a lot of power to be able to power satellites that provide television signals if they're out in space feeding millions of people down on, on Earth. 
So the, that same point works both right. ways. But they don't. They don't need this amount of power. Do you know why? Because they're not radiating isotropically. They have a it's focused just... beam, which is why you have to place a satellite dish within a degree or less of a particular spot to capture that beam coming off the satellite. And because That's the satellite is so high up, it's everyone, because of... on, everyone on that side of the Earth can point to that it's because of spot. it's because of a little bit of paul's maths that's all that that's why that's how you so get around we, that. a little bit of refraction as well but listen listen i don't expect darwin to be a nasa engineer to be able to answer all of your questions so then he should, that if he doesn't know enough about it he shouldn't be able to assert that it's all fake then right because you'd have to have a mastery of a subject or a knowledge or or or, or no or, you uh, don't no yeah, but hang on, hang on. It's, 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 it's only the same that's that's used. Used. i'm not talking about the technology i'm just you talking about how the setup is it's where only the, the money same, can though. be made that's what i'm talking about epistemology but if you don't know anything about rf right you can't just go and assert oh this can yeah, all but be you done don't need to be a radio expert to figure out how business works Stop being such an ignorant idiot. You don't have to be a radio expert to assume that satellites, that sat what can be done only with a satellite can be done without a satellite. Epistemology. Um, Arwen dis um, dismissing NASA stuff is only the same as you having to accept that. This isn't NASA pretend. stuff. This isn't, this oh, has I'm nothing to do finish. with NASA. Let me finish. Nothing. Let me finish. By default, if you're a flat earther, you can dismiss pretty much everything of NASA in the same way that you've got to But this to has accept. nothing to do with Wait, NASA. NASA's on, not involved. Hang on, hang on. In the same way In the same way that you guys have got to accept that on good weather conditions with enough zoom, you could in, in theory look all the way around the earth and see your own ass in your own telescope. So Arwin's only doing the same thing but the opposite way around. He's dismissing stuff that he can dismiss because NASA are telling us that the earth's round. Well, we don't accept that. So therefore, we don't have to accept anything from NASA because we know that we believe they're not telling us the truth. You guys have got to, you've got to accept certain things and we're, we're able to dismiss certain things. It, it's part of the argument itself. Uh, Rosanna, are you the guy from Isle of Man? Yeah, is that right? It is. Um, I, I was listening to okay? it well. Yeah, you're loud and clear. It's good. Okay, sorry, was I coming across too loud before? Yeah, a little bit. You're a lot better now because you've not got some kind of uh, machinery noise in the background. So I don't know what that was. Listen, I've been listening to you argue about this for 20 episodes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could have solved it from the first one. Why has why it been 20 episodes before you've got in touch with us? I've been looking for someone from Isle of Man for weeks. Oh, well, I've, I've just been watching and watching and seeing if it would play out normally and if people could just be honest about what they were seeing but right I, it's just so obvious to get your points across isn't it when you've got people who are so rude i want to show you something if i can if i can hide oh, i've been waiting for you i've been watching everything listen <laughs> the funniest thing about all of this for me is that you keep mispronouncing all the names of the places <laughs> well i can get ramsey and douglas right because i'm not mispronouncing them right no but can i tell you more cold lighthouse is mackled lighthouse oh right okay i apologize um, well, well, it's just good to be able to speak to you as far as I can tell you. Right to say, old, yeah. Is it right to say that Jeremy Clarkson owns it? No. Because he's in the papers saying that he, he either owns it or he paid to refurbish it, one or the other. No, I'm pretty sure Jeremy Clarkson owns one mess, which is not Michael. I don't think anybody owns Michael like us. It's definitely not well, the one Clarkson it's owns. It's in the paper saying that he um, refurbished it, but it doesn't state specifically that he owned it, but it does say that he refurbed it. So it, it kind of goes by assumption. I mean, I mean it's not right. a big deal. It's, um, no, don't what I wanted to show on his Mac, Okay, what I wanted to ask your opinion on, and it is just an opinion, and it's totally acceptable if you're incorrect or you don't know. Um, don't Go say on, yes man. if you feel obligated. What I, want, what I wanted to ask you was, um, obviously you're familiar with this landscape, right? Yeah. So you know that Ramsey starts here, yeah? Yeah, oh, so maybe that looks like... There you go. This is, this is where the end drops off for us, and Ramsey is just below this little band of refraction, this negligible refraction that's here that's stopping it because it's very low land. Yeah. Um, so Ra Ramsey is here. But and then as we, continue, the... as we continue across, we get to a bit of land that's here, and then... This is the bit of land that I want you to focus in on. We come back to it in a second. We zoom in. 
but there's one particular part of it that I want your opinion on. It's it's very precise, and you'll have to squint yeah. your eyes a little bit to see it because it's a little bit contentious. Um, because I'm trying to identify what it is. Um, right, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a black matchstick sticking up there. Can you see where my mouse is? I don't know if you can see this. You may not see I it on the where mouse is, yeah. Yeah, it's immediately... Just about my mouse. that black stick, yeah. Right, that little black stick seems to line up with something very precise, and I was just wondering if you might be able to tell me, um, am I crazy for thinking that it might be this? Um, from the point of observation where I was... Yeah. Um, and if I line it up to the Mughold, or what, however you pronounce it, Lighthouse. Mughold. Mughold. Mughold, like Pickled, but Mughold. Mughold, okay. Yeah, Mughold. Mughold Lighthouse. So what? this yeah. is the bit what we're trying to um, work on at the minute. The, this is what the ball, the, sorry, the Flat Earth side are, are working on. Like in, in other words, me, Ranty, Chris yeah, Walker. Yeah, I've, been, I've watched every one. I've listened to every single one. Yeah, it's took you 19 goals to get on, though, man. Right, yeah, this is the bit I want to... Go on. This is what I want to ask you. When I get onto the line of sight that we've been on, oops, that we've been on for all this time, if I turn the elevation yeah. profile up, because this is behind the curvature of the Earth on Google Earth, <laughs> I need to make it taller so I can... Um, yeah, so I can, so I can see. Give you the chance to see it, yeah. Ah, <coughs> I hate it when it does that. Let me get back down there, hang on. Nee, nee, nee. It's okay, man. It's better than normal when I'm shouting at the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so that's the line of sight to the lighthouse, roughly, give or take. Yeah. It's not exact, but it's close enough for what I want to show. If I now look over to the right, I can see the, um, the highlands of Scotland, and I can see yeah. land that wasn't there before. This what None of this was... It, um, I know, I watched it a couple of shows ago. Yeah, yeah, they've changed it from our perspective, and I'm, it might not actually show me what I want to show you now, because they've changed yes. it, but um, the bit I'm hoping to show you, and it's on one of the previous hangar. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's it, it's not showing it now. It was there originally, and it's now not there. All right, so that's where I need to see it. Okay, so can I even see this now? Because it should have made it better, but it seems to have made it worse because the land has been risen behind it. Yeah. Um, because this point of a lighthouse is what I'm trying to establish to be. Um, I can't I can't show it you. Right. <laughs> Because well, because the is up the point of air. There is there's there's a little winky um, and the yeah. point of air lighthouse. That's now, right. In one of, the, one of the early hangouts, one of the very early hangouts, me and Nathan were chatting, and um, I'd suggested that we should point this out and ask, is it actually the lighthouse? And Nathan right. said, no, because if if we don't know for a fact that it definitely is, you're better off not doing it. Um, Which so one's we, mean not the point of air lighthouse? Yeah. Well, no, yeah. The, no, we're all right with the with the Mac. Let me just get this back on track. Michael is basically straight in front of where you're seeing and taking the picture from. Yeah, I'm just what I'm trying to do yeah. is trying to get it back down to the to the because we I've done this before and I showed Nathan and Nathan said don't because if you're wrong you're gonna look like a dick. No, no, no. just do it. It doesn't matter. It's the truth, the truth, isn't it? I can't do it because it doesn't show it now. I'd have to go. I'd have to, right, I'd have well, to find the original hangout where I could do it, and it was. Well, do that and come back to that. Let me ask you something. Do you remember when you said that you, you, the very first time that you've done this, you presented it, and when you went to identify Douglas, you said there's a tuft of trees on the top of that hill. Yep. That's Douglas' head. Yeah, that's right. Do you agree and it's not that a tuft of trees up there? It's just there's. There's bushes up there beyond that, but what you're seeing was double said. And can you see now where you've got your yellow line? Yeah. That landmass there now is called Derby Haven, yeah. The... That's what yeah, that's the least that we're looking at, but I think we're looking now, what at what I'm saying is go back up to where you Derby Haven. Hang on a sec, I just want to show you the tuft of trees for those that are not familiar. Is yeah, this tuft yeah. this tuft of this tuft of trees is yeah, um, that's double said like... just up to your left. Yeah, yeah, we've got this matched up, and although people say it's been misidentified, epistemology for truth. Yeah, it um, actually, actually, by the way, a uh, Anthony, if that's if that tuft of trees is Douglas Head, then that means that that city that I call Bala Canals is not actually Doug uh, is not actually Douglas. It can't be Douglas what, because Douglas is, is left that in your picture. That that is our position. What you've just said is our position that Bala Canal yeah. is not Douglas. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying is, if that tough, what you're calling that tuft of trees is Douglas Head, then that means that that town that you're calling Douglas cannot be Douglas. No, it, it lines up perfectly with it. And you see where you are now? Yeah, go on. You see where the yellow line is on Douglas? Yeah. Can you see just 
Three on that south of Douglas. It's a little old crap there, yeah. That's Derby and Avon. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's right. The only piece of land from the position that you're taking the image from that could possibly be taken out past Douglas is that a Derby and Avon. I know, but that's rejected on the and ground. This is the point in the first show that people kept saying, I know. oh, it's the south of the island. Paul was saying it was the south of the island. Other people were saying it's the south of the island. It can't possibly be further south because you can't see any further south. Than no, what, what they mean when they say the south, they mean south relative to this position rather than south like as an accurate compass direction south. South as in the rest of the land of the island would be south, but east, wouldn't it? Anthony, on that That's panorama, right. show us where that tuft of tree is. Put your right. mouse on it. There. Okay. To the right of that, that that you're calling that that's Douglas to the right of that. I can't see the screen. It's, you'd have to look at the um, the hangout screen. Yeah, that's Douglas head, the bump to the left. That, so you would agree that that would be Douglas head? I know for a fact it's Douglas head. So, so really, that means that these guys have misidentified um, Bala Canal. I don't know what they've done because I don't want to argue about whether they have or they haven't. Let them come and prove it. If you go back to the first show when you showed that your line of sight with Douglas, you did have that line of sight with Douglas from Google Maps. That shows it. And like I said, to the left, the outcrop of land, which is Derby Haven, is the only possible land that you could see to the left of Douglas from your point of view. Now, the consensus point is, what is that shadow that we have, you know, can see in the picture? Is that island or is that what the boys were saying? Exactly, just exactly. Copies or copies. But, but I just wanted to clarify, I live in the Isle of Man. I knew what you were looking at with Starby Haven, and I know for a fact that, that there is no possible land past Starby Haven from your point of view. So you either, exactly have, to, so you either yeah. have to say, it's not land in the picture, or... You have to accept that it is, and the only land that could be would be Ireland, obviously. This is where we got to the other day. Um, Paul, uh, Nathan was asking, is there a line of sight to Douglas or not? And in the I end, know, I listened was... to Paul deny it, and then he had to admit yeah. that there was, and then he still tried to deny it. I know, I know yeah. everything about everything that's going on. I've listened to I know, I'm, just, I'm just giving a summary for those that are listening. Yes, that might the not audience listen don't know. Okay. Just, just, just put up with me a sec. So oh, yeah, go on. The tuft of trees that are on the top, I've identified because I believe them that they are the they are this. Okay, yeah. This tr this triangular patch here, we believe because based on what we've triangulated, we believe it's this triangular patch that's here. Now the yeah. problem is if if we are correct and you're saying that it is, the land yeah. stops very very quickly, and you can see in the background that there's now mountains because they've updated Google, and um, based on a ball. <laughs> They weren't there the other day, but the point yeah, but is... Just to write anything that you could see in the photograph would be Derby Haven. Now, what you're showing now, the extent of that land is not Derby Haven. It can't possibly be Derby Haven. Because it goes way down. not land and it's a shadow, or it's land, and the only land that can be is Ireland, isn't it? So, so would you agree with me that if it was Derby Haven, it would be very flat on the horizon, and it would be sucking course, around about here somewhere? Uh, maybe a little bit further than that. Yeah, it goes right. a little bit more. Anywhere around about to the edge, yeah, about the... Anything so further therefore, than that. Anything all of further this, than that is studios. In your opinion, that you live on Isle of Man, you would say that, that all yeah. of that over there would be island? Not, not in my it. opinion. I would have to say, you'd have to verify that what that black line is, is land. You see what I'm saying? I don't it want to call it either way, because I don't, I don't want to jump into the nonsense that you get into with these... You know, people who come in for the discussion. Well, then, yeah, so that's that's in reality, without going, on, sorry, without going on about this point, what I'm going to do for you is, is I'm on the line, man. We've got a P900. We can take all the observations you take, and we can verify any heights of any buildings and any line of sight that you want to do. Can you... How long would it take you to get up to the point of a uh, lighthouse? 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Right, so if I go up to St. B's and I get my P900 and I point it to, P to Point of Air Lighthouse, if you were to I'll get, get my there, P900 and I'll see if I can see your ass in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, lad. He's obviously been watching. Um, so, basically, so basically, if you, were, if you were to set off a flare, because this is where I believe... Yeah, this is, that's what we want to do, yeah. We want to be able to get something that we can all verify, don't we? 
Yeah, because if you set off a flare from the point of her lighthouse, and then we can see yeah. the flare from here, that means that all the land that's off to the left would be Isle of Man, and everything off to the right must be island because there is no more land. Are you up for it? I, I'll even assume whoever wants to make conclusions, but I just want to get the verification done. Yeah, so are you happy? Would you be prepared to get a flare on the day that we're there, do the observation with me, and when just basically set, set the flare off when I ask you to? Yeah, of course. I mean, you can take the P900 observations in reverse, so you can see what we're seeing on the exact same day. Oh, line. Nathan, man, this, this guy's a genius. Now, it, let's make a suggestion and a hypothesis. My prediction is that if he's at the point of a lighthouse, we will not only see the flare, we will also realise that all the land to the right is must be island because there is no more land for Isle of Man. It stops at the point of a lighthouse. So what will the ballers then concede? Because they're going to have to concede that this is Ireland in the background because there is no other option. Well, I'd like to see the end of it, really, because you shouldn't be debating uh, objective reality, as Dale says, but as anyone knows, it should be a discussion, it should be polite. And you provided the observations. Now all you have to do is update them so everybody's happy with the information. And, and the other thing... You can get the answers quite easily, I think, yeah. anyway. The other thing is, I wouldn't even have to see Isle of Man in the background. Uh, sorry, this land in the in the background anymore, because so long as you're at the point of a lighthouse and you put up a flare, that would denote where the end of the Isle of Man is in any event. So then we can cross oh, yeah, that's, say, that's the end of the Isle of Man. He's stood on the point of a lighthouse, but obviously you're going to need three independent witnesses. One's got to be your mum. It's got to be signed off by a reverend. You've got to have GPS okay. coordinates. You've got to have um, a flagpole at your bottom. All that kind of stuff. But if you yeah. can denote where the end of the Isle of Man is, we don't even need to see Ireland in the background. We just need to know where the Isle of Man stops. Yeah, we're prepared to do all observations for you and all assistance with any observations that you want to make. Happy days. Right, so then the only issue that we need to get is a FLIR. Now, I know that they're technically classed as pyrotechnics. Does anybody know how we can get hold of a FLIR without doing anything dodgy or illegal? Because that's what we need to do. I'm sure we can use something that isn't illegal. Like what? I don't know. I'm sure there'll be something that we can use that's, you know, within the rules. Right, in the side chat, I'm going to put you my hotmail address. Um, this will get you onto me Skype if you've got Skype, and if not, just onto email. Um, right. you, need keep, you need to keep in touch with me because... Um, well, that's I, need, I, to do, uh... I need to get you. Um, me and you need to collaborate because there's a couple of people that want to come with me. And if I've got somebody on the Isle of Man that can press the flare yeah. at the moment that we're watching for the flare and the flare appears on the screen and it's in a particular place and we know that's the end of the Isle of Man it means yeah. everything else beyond it has oh, to be yeah. an island well, oh, happy to do that for you, you're an absolute gentleman thank you so much for this whereabouts in, Liverpool, whereabouts in Liverpool were you from? well it's a long story but I'll cut the show I was born in the Isle of Man yeah go on to a Scouse mum and a man dad right so my mum actually took me back to Liverpool. I was brought up in Liverpool, and then I grew up again in the Isle of Man, came back here. Do, do you know the pub called The Raven? Uh, the Raven? Yeah, in Isle of Man. Oh, in Ramsey? Yeah, in Ramsey, yeah. Yeah, I think that was where we were. That, that was where that motorcyclist was killed a couple of years back, wasn't it? Which one? I don't know what his, I can't remember his name. He came up and over the humpback bridge. And he, he got urban. Oh, guys, is it on the races? Yeah, on the TT race. Uh, yeah. Oh, he ran yeah, straight no. into the wall of the Raven and killed himself immediately. Like. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. It's it's terrible thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's re I I'm amazed that they allow the TT race to happen. To be honest, given the health and safety. Myself, these days. Because it's so long standing, I can understand why it still goes on. But no, no, I agree with it. The it. it's, it's, it. it's an incredible feat that the, the people are yeah. achieving. But it's also so, just so sad to see people go. Are you able to stand at the point of a lighthouse and look left and see um, Ireland and then look right and see England? I, I, on certain days, in the right conditions, you can see England, Ireland, Scotland, cool. Wales even, especially from Snow Fell. The, the mountain Snow Fell. Yeah. Well, it's got a, you know, a theme that you. comes with it is to say that you can see the Seven Kingdoms. Cool. Which is any of that in Scotland, Wales, the Isle of Man itself, the sea, yeah. and the heavens. Right, you're an absolute star. So thank you so much for approaching us because we've been waiting. Yeah, no worries, man. I just want to show you something on screen if you look. Yeah, yeah, go on. Can you see me now? Yeah, I can see your earmuffs, yeah. 
I know it looks like you got a bra on your head. I've never been on that angle before. He said, you need the earphones, you can't hear properly, so <laughs> at least you've known that. I'm glad about that. Yeah, yeah. So what, what is it you want to the screen share? I can't. Well, I don't. I just want, can you see me? I, yeah, I was yeah, I to see you now as you're the old man. Can you see Sorry, that? What? Mm, it's off screen. Move it over. To, move it. Move it to more to your left. Yeah, that's it. Down a bit. Mm, yeah, MBSA. MBESA. Yeah, I see that. Manx the Earth Stepbrook Association. Manx what? The Earth Stepbrook Association. What's that? Do you remember John McGon? The Earth Stepbrooks. Yeah. Oh, and where the mics go, all those skeptics. Oh, right, I get yeah. it. So I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm with you, I'm with you. And can you see that where our logo is? Just pull it down a bit, you're too high. Can we see where yeah. the one is? Can you see the logo? Yeah, I can. It looks like the Flat Earth map. Yeah, the Azimuth of that good instant map. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool, that dude. Just see if the piss out of the you know, because they like to use it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Right, listen, we need a flur. That's what you, the only task I need hey, you to listen, do. Listen, don't worry about our end. We're absolutely sure that we've got everything. We've got an engineer on board. <laughs> Happy days. Yeah, we're well, sound. Listen, I'll get in touch with you on the email on that, but I just yeah, wanted just to show you that. I'll send you a link as well, Anthony, because um, on the Isle of Man, we've got Manx forums, you know, just like a local forum. Yeah. And someone introduced the Flat Earth subject, and the topic was called Flat Earth. And then it had a question mark. And this was when it started two years ago, as you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That forum has been running ever since. Cool. That that actual thread flat is uh, still going, people still trying to argue. <laughs> so in the in that in, in the context of Nathan's chat right now, how yeah. persuasive do you find the evidence that I've caught it's bang on, isn't it? I think so, yeah. So would you agree that yeah. we see an island? I can't say that, no, because I can't verify what the shadow and the image is. Right, that's that's the bit I'm trying to work You're on. Not the land. Everyone else is saying it's a replication of the Isle of Man. It's a, you know, it's a repeat of the photograph of the Isle of Man just being extended out. So I can't verify any of that, but once we do, I don't think there can be any doubts. No. Happy days. I'm planning on going up there in the next fortnight. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it'll be imminently. So if we can sort yeah, of add, add me on Skype or email me, whichever. Just get in touch. Yeah, with I haven't got more Skype accounts. Even if now, it's just me mate, um, tablet, you know what I mean? I just used to watch YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let myself set up a bit more so I can keep connected with this. Did you say you lived in Douglas or Ramsey? Douglas. You live in Douglas, right? So what I can see on a clear day from Douglas Beach, I can see where you are. <laughs> it's supposed to be behind a thousand feet of curve. Oh, I know that. Uh, I show everyone. <laughs> so can oh, you just pause my response to this now? Excuse me, can you see where you are? And I say, yeah, and I say, well, doesn't it measure around a bit curve with a big ball? <laughs> it's just more than that you're like soft. Happy days, this is fab. Right, listen, um, we've hijacked it long enough now and people are getting bored of talking about it, but this is excellent for um, for us. Just send me an email or add me on Skype and we'll pass it back to um, Epistemology for Truth and he can talk about satellites or whatever it was he was on about. Have you two yeah, changed, um, have you two exchanged, exchanged email addresses and right, stuff? Right, Sorry, just bear with me a sec. <laughs> no have, you, have you exchanged email addresses and such? I will do. I'll, when I send me this, I'll, I'll get on to it tomorrow when I send you one. Well, if I've you sent want... it in the side chat. If you look in the side chat, you should see it. Just I don't know to... this, yeah. Uh... Once you've got his email address, oh, if, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you send him you your address, email, I've got dozens of headphones that are unused. I'll send you some headphones if you give him your address. Just tell him. I'll, you... I'll send you the microphone. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got headphones from Mike. I'm going get my own tomorrow. Just go, go, go. There's there's one on. I'll I'll give you the cheap one that's really good quality. Um. But either way, yeah, if we get your address, we'll get you a pair of headphones that are decent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you to get them, I can get them myself, no worries, but if I can Skype call Anthony tomorrow or Nathan as well, then we can talk yeah. easily more often than can't we? 
Yeah, so, yeah. Um, th- I've put you in the side chat. I've also put you in um, the name of the, the the best value for money microphone out there. It's 23, 24 quid from Amazon. Um, so, it's well worth buying it because it sounds, you sound like you're in a, um, like I'm a milk bottle or something. It sounds terrible, it but it's probably because you've got, for nothing. got the mic. Got loads well, it's okay. We can hear you. We can hear okay. you. It's fine. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Oh, you're it. You're a star, man. Right. Thank you very much for your uh, your your approach because we've been waiting for somebody that was like local enough so to be able to do exactly this. I've got my as well. I listen to people. And I'm not going to talk over people and interrupt them and all the rest of it. You know what I mean? You just want to get this issue sorted. Clearly, yes. don't you? You're an absolute star. Thank you so much for that, and I appreciate you uh, coming on and letting us know because that. But this no is worries, a- mate. Well, I'll go off now. Then. I'll speak to you tomorrow. No worries. So, add me on Skype or whatever. Look at where's the side track because I can't see the side track there. In the I've not the last page up, I'm just on the handout, you see. You, you know the the tab that's got a little red circle at the top that says Google Hangouts? No. I'm on a tablet. I know, yeah. I, I'm gonna get this to you if you you can see you can see the main chat though, can't you? No, it's got your full screen sharing. Well, here's the easy way to do it. Here's the easy way to do it. If you can drop me an email from there, we can contact you. So my email address is just nathanoakley1980 at aol.com. Aol.com. You could just let me get my email address in cleanly once, because then then he he can hopefully send me an email address, uh, an email, and we can go from there. So nathanoakley1980 at aol.com. If you drop me an email, yeah, I can then share Skype addresses and things like that. What I'll do is okay. I'll, look, I'll look you up on um, Thingy now using your username, and hopefully I'll find you. Rosanna Miwa, Man, Man, Rosanna Manwana. No, no, it's, it's um, Mabiza. You're going to have to spell it. Go on. No, it's just Mabiza. The one I just showed you. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Spell that for me. It's just that on YouTube, M D E S A. Can you spell that phonetically? M. M for mother. Yeah. D. For birthday. For <laughs> oh, yeah. E for Aristophanes. <laughs> Aristophanes, yeah. yeah. S. Sugar. <laughs> S the line of size and A. MBSA. Let's have a look. Yeah. MBESA. Yeah, hang on. Channel. Mabiza, Mabiza. MBESA. Yeah. Mabiza, Mabiza. Let me find it. Mabiza, Mabiza. It's two words, is it? Well, I, <laughs> I'm not very really technically minded with these types of things. So when I actually tried to make the channel, it just done the name size. I'm not finding Mabiza, Mabiza. Is it two words? I'm not active. I haven't uploaded any videos really. I mean, the channel is up and I do have, I'm subscribed to people, but I don't know how people find me. Right, well, it's gonna. It's, we'll have to leave it with you then. If you just email Nathan or myself, find yeah. my channel and send me a message on my channel or whatever, just keep in touch and then we'll sort something out in the next couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, no worries. We'll get it sorted out, definitely. Happy days. Good man. Right, I'm let's go. I'm going to like the chat when everyone else was on as well. Paul and Mark and all them others. We all could have had a nice chat together about the hour, man, but... No worries. Save that next time, mate. Right, we'll pass it back to epistemology and you can talk about satellites again because that was like so in- entertaining. Oh, yeah, that was riveted, absolutely riveted. Nice one. Cheers, pal. See you in a bit. About half hey, Ryan. Left. Yeah, man. Can you hear me? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I would uh, suggest one thing. Yeah, go. And it'll help go a long ways. Uh, Perhaps when you guys do your observations, um, use your phone or, or have him use his phone and to provide exact GPS coordinates. So there is no mistaking where you guys are at. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? That's not too much of a, uh, I would say. Does anybody know what the um, the mobile, the Android app is that they use to identify specifically where they are? What's it called? I don't know. I'm on Apple. I got Apple phone. Where the what? Um, what was the question? Google Put out there, it. Anthony. The Android app that people use to identify precisely what the um, position of, that they are at. Because I have a new phone. Android you see, and I didn't, I, it didn't work on my old phone, and I can't remember what it's called. 
Is it like an apple? Just to, you mean just to show your raw GPS data, like your GPS coordinates and your altitude and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that called? Uh, the app that I use is called GPS Essentials because I've used it for a long time, but there's a to it. But what was the word after but? But, but what? Uh, the one that I use is called GPS Essentials. Okay. It's in the, it's in the place phone, right? GPS essentials, right? I'll try and find that. And then and then the cool thing about it is you have a bunch of empty cells and each cell you can click on it and you can do to display and it could do everything from your bearing, compass data, time, number of satellites, altitude, all that stuff. Yeah, the, one, the altitude is the one that I really wanted. Yeah. Yep. Right. Nath, what do you think about that, gent? He had a terrible microphone. <laughs> he was a great guy. Other than the microphone issue, what what can he bring to the flat Earth debate? That's going to be well, an I interesting think... observation if we if he sets a flare off from the north side of the on, yeah. of the if island. Set a flare off. Flare, it's it's game over, really. Is it? I mean, I already think yeah. it's island anyway. You already think it's island. We've seen it modelled really accurately now yeah. by Chris. Um, I mean, I hope he does eventually present that to to the audience, but. You know, we're lucky because we've we've seen that stuff from Chris. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say I know it's Ireland. <laughs> I agree. I've seen the modelling done, and I I agree completely. It is Ireland. The problem we have is trying to prove it. So we were trying to prove it with like counting pixels and calculating bearings and all that. And really, I prefer empirical stuff, actually seeing stuff. And if this guy can get to the point of a lighthouse, set off a flare at the time that we ask him to do it, and we see a flare. It is game over. It really is lighthouse? game over. At which lighthouse? Point of Air Lighthouse. Air is spelled A Y R E. It's right up on the top corner of the. Um, it's basically if if I put my screen on now so you can see my screen, it's the point where we think the um, the boat is or the, the 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 little winky lighthouse, whichever it is. Um, I've got it on screen now, just in case you're looking at the watch page and chat should see it as well. Um, but it's basically the area that we're looking in right now because um, there is a boat going past this um, lighthouse. Um, it makes sense to me that it will be wait, a lighthouse. Wait, thing is the point of air lighthouse? I'm saying that the point of air lighthouse is this little black stick that sticks up, but I don't think you'll see it on the, on the actual hangout because it is only like a couple of pixels wide and it's on a... Wait, zoom, a zoom that picture out. Well, so it's, can... a video, it's a video, isn't it? Can you see it there now? Yeah. That little black stick there is what we think is the point of a lighthouse, which we think is the end of Isle of Man. So if I get into stand somewhere near there, fire a flare off, um, then anything that's to the right of that cannot cannot be Isle of Man. It can only be can, Island. Can you pan? Can you pan to the left or show the video panning to the left? Was Wait that enough? No, yeah. Can, can you keep going? Because there's that gap there. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to do it the other wow. way because I'll have to do it the other way because I go all the way down and then come all the way back up again. Okay. Yeah, I know. So th tricky. this is this is where Ramsey is. This is the okay, gap. Right, right, right. This is the the cliff face. Stop, 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 stop. And this is where we believe this is the point of a lighthouse. This is what I was going to get Rumpus to do the other day. But to be honest, I don't, I don't, well, I don't. Go the panorama off that video. Can you make that video available for everyone to download? Yeah, yeah, it's on my channel. I'll give you a URL. Uh, a URL so that you can download it, but it's been there for weeks. I did it on purpose well, so that people could. The one that says Ireland. Um, I saw that it's... video and it wasn't the complete video. It it's wasn't the this. The, the the three five two. I mean that particular video file. Can you make that yeah. exact video file un unchanged? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've already uploaded it to my channel. Give me a sec. I'll give you the URL. It's the one that's called. Um. So this one's two, two, 202 minutes to there. This one's two minutes twenty two seconds. I've got Perth an intro at the beginning. Peak Finder. Um, just I don't saying... know if you saw that in the chat, Sleeping Warrior. Peak Finder. You heard of that? Yeah, I have heard of that. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. Copy that. Okay, so this this exact file, uh, epistemology, I will drop into. Hangout side chat just for you now, and then you've got it on screen. It's the exact file that I'm looking at. It's not been changed in any way. It's been unprocessed. It's not been changed on the contrast or anything. It's exactly the way I see it on my screen. So if you want to have, if you want to grab that from the side chat, you'll see it, and then you've got the same video that I've got, and it's not, 
it has been processed through YouTube, but it should be the same. You should be able to pick out the black line that I'm looking at. Now, they become the the now comes a conundrum because if it is the case that he sets the um the flare off, me and Nathan can then assert that it is game over. But how many people will actually jump ship and say, shit, we must be looking at Ireland? Because really it's got to be everybody. You've all got to convert over to, to to the brotherhood. Because there's no way that anybody can say that we can see Ireland on the ball because it's like so far beyond let's just do the maths again so that we can so that we can uh well, you do the maths. Into- I mean what they then have to argue is that we have this perfect projection of the Isle of Man with Oh, so you can see your own ass through the telescope. I mean it is that argument but ten times over and you know you've got you then have to account for the effect the fact that you've got Ireland in the background. <laughs> I mean, that's why I say game over, because you know, to convince the audience of that, I mean they've got a tall order already. <laughs> you know. So if it is Ireland and we see the flare that the guy sets off, that means we're looking 85 miles from a distant, uh, from an observer height of, I mean, you can give it like 500 feet if you want. You still ain't going to be able to see that. They're going to have to prove that standard refraction or bendy light mathematic refraction or whatever, they're going to have to prove that that happens to be the perfect storm. And let me guess, let me tell you this, I'll be able to get it again. If the atmosphere is clear enough and it's not, like a cloudy day or whatever, I'll be able to repeat this comfortably. That's why I'm taking different people with me. So the two people that have asked me, and I'm not going to name who they are because they've asked not to be named. Um, if you're watching this show right now, that guy's going to be setting a flare off and he's going to set it off from the point of a lighthouse, which we believe that we can identify. If he does that, all the land to the right. Let's, do you want to do it, Nathan? Do you want to say it in your in your tone? Oh, right. Well, let's say that it's Ireland. I mean, I've never not maintained... Uh, so far, I've not once said it isn't. And every time they say that land is the Isle of Man, I say we have to concede this for the sake of argument. And that's because I yeah. can't bring myself to say it is the Isle of Man because I just don't think it is. That's on the left-hand side. The right-hand side, I've given a lot less consideration, but certainly when we saw it lined up with by Chris, I was I was in absolutely no doubt. Yeah. It is because there's height to it that shouldn't be there if it was the Isle of Man. But it's difficult to judge. Where is that lighthouse on Google right now? Like, show show me where that lighthouse would be on Google if you don't mind. On Google Earth. Who was that that was asking then? Yeah, it was Flamingo. The the lighthouse that we're talking about is called Point of Air Lighthouse, and it's on the furthest most north tip in relation to me. It would be the northeast corner, but for me, it's north. Um, And this is the Point of Air Lighthouse. I'll come down to this little one here is called Little Winky or Winky. And there's a fog on that's not been used for a few years because they use GPS now. And they've got the main, this main lighthouse. And we believe we can identify this based on the overlay, uh, the, the precision thing that Chris has done. And I was going to get Rompus to do the maths on this the other day to be able to identify this, to see if, basically, to check that we were doing it right um, because we were going to assume that Rumpus's maths would be right. And we were expecting them to match. We were expecting to get the exact same bearing. But if he said if he goes to anywhere along here on the beach or what I mean the tide might be in or whatever, he may only get to the fog on. But if he gets to the furthest point that he can get to, that's 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 on the, the, the northern tip of Isle, Isle of Man, sets a flare off, and we see the as long as we see the flare, and we're probably gonna see the flare, it will mean that when we have the video up, which should be here, we think that he'll be setting his flare off from hopefully this will zoom in again. Come on, zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And I should pan over to the right. So we believe he'll be... See that black stick sticking out there? We believe that's where he'll be setting the flare off from. Flare will go up to maybe here or somewhere, do a big starburst. We'll see the starburst. And that means all of this land could only be island. If that's the case, the Earth is flat. It's flat as a pancake. If it's not flat... (laughs) All that land looks connected to me, though. Agreed, but it, my position is that this is all Isle of, um, Island, none of it's Isle of Man. I believe that this sticking, this, this bit sticking up is, I believe there may be the odd Miles Davis misrepresentation where he's picked two or three points up that are ridiculously, um, there's, I think he had three points that were about 290 feet and they were like, it was the one, like it was like the tip of a triangle of the peak of the hill that he'd found because I couldn't... That cliff find. face to the left over there, that's a cliff face right it looks like a cliff face right 
Yeah, and we can identify that. Like and that I'm happy. And Google her. It is. I'm happy to concede, and, and I agree, because this is how we found out that it wasn't Isle, uh, Isle of Man, because I'm happy to concede, and I agree that this is this is what we're looking at with that cliff face. We're looking, and I'm not. I'm a bit too far out. Hang on, zoom in a bit. But this is the only peak at this part of the Isle of Man that's ha that's high enough to be seen. The rest of it isn't. The rest of it is very low. So that, I think is that the right place? Yeah, that's the right place. Yes, so there's Snipe, the, just rejoin the on Skype, which he has. Shock horror. You guys don't have to like this evidence. It's still going to get shown. What he got sniped because he was about to show something damning. Oh. Ah, sucks. I have his video. Wow. So I'll check it out. Oh, right. And I'll compare it. I'll have to download Google Earth. And I'll, um, I think that clip face is. What that black line is, all that earth, all that earth, all the earth behind that little black connected. I can't say for sure what it is. It all looks connected. It doesn't look like there's any. You might it, it, it does look connected, but my any, position any is that's in the all depth. island. You were nearly at the end of your presentation. If you give me 10 more seconds, Anthony, because we've got about 15 minutes left on the show, I'll. Um, do you want me to represent? Ah, so I can be I can be sniped out of my hangouts in the secondary in channel. The, Great. That that forces you now onto the Skype setup instead. Maybe, maybe. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to transition across to my um, me while I'm explaining this to the audience. So currently, this channel's well under a thousand subs, and unfortunately, my time has to be monetized. I'm poor, so these shows aren't commercially viable in terms of the ad revenue that they generate so therefore i have literally relied upon the revenue that's been generated by the super chat and when i say i'm eternally grateful to the people who donate to the super chat i do mean it um that being said this channel hasn't got a super chat so it may be the case that there's just a three month break and i do <gasps> the odd hangout while the other channel gets sorted because if i can be removed from my own you know that will cause so much disruption and I don't know a way around that. You know, I didn't know how. Well, the way I around it is to host it through Skype. Well, quite possibly, it might Skype. be the case that you know the the hangout is literally just there to to be a catchment for people who want to join the Skype conversation. I may do it that way. On the other hand, I may not do it at all. Like I say, this is a bit of a ball ache in in the biggest sense of the word. It's a lot of work, but you know, because people have donated to the super chat, it's been just about worthwhile doing by comparison to the um, the shows. Anyway, as I say, we've still got about 15 minutes left. I've still got you on Skype. You're still going to do your presentation. We've still got the chat. I've been removed from the Hangout, which means no one can challenge you. you you've got the mic until we finish. And then, like I say, I'll figure out if I can actually be unsnipable <laughs> again. We shall see. Well, let me just... Um, I need to get the... Um, I need to now go back to... Because I've been sniped myself. I need to pull out the actual... The public chat so i can see what they can see right they, they can see my screen all right so now i've got the ability to speak unrestrictedly um and it means that we can basically say what all the propaganda and all the dogma that we want um so as does that mean that epistemology for truth has been kicked as well yeah it's terrible news i mean like i say this will not be the way the show runs because this is just a, a flat earth echo chamber right now I mean, so be it, because, like I say, I haven't intentionally run a flat earth echo chamber and it's only 10 minutes left. So, you know, that's no show. So, that's not a, that's not a debate. I need the other participants. But if I'm removed from the hangout, that means that, you know, I can't sustain the show. That's the bottom line. And I'm not going to just add everyone on Skype. No way. No. Well, so I'm, I know that epistemology is probably listening right now. And if he's not, I, I hope all the ball earthers are listening. I'm happy to accept, and I have done from day one, that the land that we see here on the far left of this, like, floaty, miragey, towering, looming bit of land, I accept that this is Isle of Man, and I've never I've never said it's not. So in case anybody wants to misrep misrepresent my words, Jeremy, Mark Taylor, Curved Water, I've always said that I accept that that is that, okay? However... 
the land that's around Isle of Man drops down and it becomes in this band of refraction or whatever this looming or whatever it is. And in my opinion, we're looking at Ireland. This has been my position from day one. I also believe we're looking at Ireland down the far left-hand side of the Isle, Isle of Man. Um, but this is the easiest one to prove because it's closer and it's more perpendicular to my line of sight. I'm not looking down the length of the, the island. I'm looking right in front of me. So if we can get this guy to release the flare at the right time and we see a flare going off, and it, I mean, it, I don't know how the ballers will be able to get away with the um, explanation on that one because it will, it'll do exactly what... Because um, we believe that we can point out the point of a lighthouse. Um, I'll see if I can pick it up again on here now. Um because I don't, I don't see how they can get past this. Um, you're going to need a see. Basically, there's the point. This is what we believe is the point of our lighthouse. A little winky one's probably about here somewhere. This is a boat that seems to be passing it. Makes perfect sense. And then this is island in the background. So anything that goes beyond the flare, if as long as we can see the flare go up, and you can generally see flares for miles, as long as we can identify the flare, that pretty much means the Earth is flat, boys. I don't think anybody will be able to argue that the Earth's a ball to see in this so long as we can see the flare it relies on seeing the flare and I, I think we'll see the flare it might not be very bright or powerful and they may say it could be a plane well if it happens to go off at exactly the time that we we ask him to press the button and then we see something vertical going up in front of us it's going to be the flare guys I want to know how many people will still maintain their ball position based on this and especially Miles Bloody Davis I see you in chat you dishonest person you I wonder what your position will be. In fact, actually, Miles, if we do this, I need you to come up and do it with us so that we can actually, you can verify that you saw the flare with your own two eyes. So, Miles, you're challenged. You can come up and do the observation with us and you can validate your own model turns out to be false. <sighs> and Gem Panda, don't misrepresent my words. Shout out to Shroomy in the chat. <laughs> Twitwit, that's not proof, Anthony. <laughs> Twitwit's not been keeping up to date with the flat Earth debate. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to be unsniperable in this hangout because that's uh, that's the only way around this, and that is slightly heartbreaking because I thought, hmm, I reckon I can probably get up to a thousand subs in this this channel, but if I'm snipable, that's it basically for me on this channel, isn't it? I just, I, how can I get around that? I don't know how I was on Skype and have an echo chamber. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, how can I? That, that that's the thing I'd never understood in the other channel. How I wasn't being sniped. Maybe you need to. Maybe you need to have dinner with the enemy. Maybe you need to befriend Tim Osman. He'd know how to do it. I know he knows how to do it. He knows he knows how to do it. He knows he's got the information. He wants me to ask him and be thankful and all that sort of stuff. What you should do is offer him a deal. Just give him an, egg, an exeat or a get out of jail free card. Just so if Riley shows the flare when he presses the button and we can see the flare, that means you have to accept that the ball, the earth is not a ball, Tim. But give him an exeat and just say, okay, you can have a get out of jail free. Everybody else has got to convert, but you can maintain your position and just let him think that he's getting something when he's really not. Because <laughs> he'll be the only gay in the village. So, oh, Joe Panda pop, says, pop, pop. snipe yourself from the other account, then invite yourself back in via email. And what a faff. I don't know. The thing I did like was that in terms of getting the show running, it was relatively easy. But if I've got to start doing all sorts of faff just to keep myself from being sniped, you know. To be honest, be, Nathan, if you went over setting, to Skype. There must be a setting because in the other account I wasn't snipeable. So there must be a way of doing it the same way as I had it before. Nathan Oakley, ask Riley where the land is to the left of the cliff face. It's too low to be seen, and it sits in a band of... of yeah, look, I'll show you. This is where you have to reference... This is what... This is what... What's his face? Rumpus, or Pompus, I call him. This is what Pompus does not do. He does not relate anything to the evidence, and he'll start off talking about, like... Well, academia, which is exactly what he does. Can you see this little bit of land up here? This, this, is, this is evidence of looming... It's also evidence of refraction, and you can't tell which one it is either way, but it could be either, or it could be both. Um, this bit of risen land that appears to be here is blocking the low-lying land that's here, because all of the land that's on Isle of Man from this point left is very low. It's like 
less than 100 feet. It's like 50 feet, 80 feet. So I wouldn't expect to see all that when I can see this evidence of sky hovering, making this land float. So that's the answer to your question there, Flamingo Boot. All of the land is being sat behind that little tiny bit of refraction or looming or whatever atmospheric phenomena you want to call it, but it ain't sat behind no curve. Yeah, Pompous, Pompous is a fool. I agree. You are saying we can see Ireland, but not the land to the left of the cliff. Yes, Flamingo Boot. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, an effect of refraction. It's an effect of atmosphere of some kind that they call us whatever. Uh, I'd love to know Gem Panda's position if we see that flare. In fact, actually, Gem Panda, what will your position be if we see the flare when we ask him to press it? In fact, we'll, you can even pick the colour. We'll get a we'll get a nice pink flare for you, Gem, or a blue one, or a green one. And if we see a green line going up from the horizon, and at, at the exact time that we ask him to press it, what will your position be, Jeremy? If the Earth is indeed flat, shouldn't we see some evidence of the land to the left of the cliff? No, Flamingo, I've just told you why you wouldn't, and it's not a cliff, it's a hill. Um, because it's sat on a layer of atmospheric effect that could be called refraction or looming. It could be called anything. But we can see land that we shouldn't be seeing. Shruminati, Anthony's lying to us all. No, Anthony's producing evidence to you all. Hello, Lewis. I love it when they are talking to themselves alone. Yeah, actually, I prefer talking to myself when it's alone. While Nathan's having a think. Don't bait us to bait you, Riley. Yep, I'll bait all of yous. you. Can all put, you can all state your position. Because if we see that flare, the only way you guys are going to get out of this is if for some reason he sets the flare off and it's just too small for us to see. Now, bear in mind that the flares are used for nautical purposes and the Titanic had them and all that. I know the Titanic sank, but they set flares off and we can see flares generally quite easily, even during the day. Although we might have to do it of an evening to improve our chances. But uh, Frank, you know, it's atmospheric lensing you are seeing. I agree. Ron Burgundy. Riley thinks anything he does... Riley thinks anything he does could ever convince any sane person that the Earth is flat. Ron, you can't maintain your position if he sets a flare off at the furthest point north in the Isle of Man and we still see land behind it. Sorry, pal. You can't maintain your position because you can clearly see it'll be Ireland. <clears throat> Sleeping warrior, go back to swinging. I'll be definitely swinging. I'll no, be swinging do. from the rooftops with this one. You know what you could do for the last... We've got about four minutes. So, go on. could you summarise the position on the Isle of Man in other words what we actually see so maybe just play your video from the start and as it plays just explain why this is an issue for the heliocentric model and what, yeah. what's coming up going forward okay I'll give you a running commentary um, this is the part where I can't remember Jeremy would have to tell us which one this is I can't remember whether this is the tide on its way out or the tide on its way back because Jeremy picked up on how dry the beach was and thought in some way I'd change my position well maybe I did change it but I, I never said that I was in exactly the same place but I'm in pretty much the same place it's not that much different so the reason why the beach was a little bit drier Jeremy was because the, the tide had been out for a bit longer anyway um, again, my position is this. I only did this to document what I could see. I did it because I had the camera and I couldn't see Blackpool Tower. Okay, That's why I didn't get anything else because it was only for my own personal posterity purposes. I could see the Isle of Man. And I wanted to document how much of the Isle of Man I could see, but just in case it, well, just because it was there. I never even thought to check it. Ranty was the one that checked it, so you can blame Ranty. Ranty suggested to me that we could see Morgold Lighthouse, or what did he call it? Whatever, it, however you pronounce it, um, Lighthouse. And we agreed, and Jeremy questioned why could we not see all of it? There's been numerous discussions about it, um, but we've kind of lost sight of the fact that this whole lighthouse should be behind the curve of the Earth. So whether we're not seeing this little ditty bit underneath is kind of an irrelevant point. Your maths tells us that none of it should be visible. So when I pan over to the left, Ranty identified that um, all these buildings down this edge here, he used Google Earth to identify that this was Douglas. We had a guy on this, um, earlier on tonight that said that that was in fact Douglas, and that's Douglas Head, and he agrees, and he knows it because he lives there. So he can identify and he recognises his own area because he lives there. That's good enough for me to make me think that we got it right. However, 
all of this land from somewhere maybe here don't know exactly where but somewhere along here you cannot see there's no land there shouldn't be any land there and my assertion is and it always was and it hasn't changed jeremy is that this is isle of uh, this is island and isle of man stops somewhere now people were saying well there's a bit of contrast missing there because if it's further away it should be paler well, we can't tell because it's that low. It sits in this little band of refraction on the foreground here because it's that low in. It's behind that much of a curve. Well, it's behind a thousand feet worth of curve. None of the Isle of Man should be seen from this point because it's too far away. This means that we're left with an awful lot of land that is clearly unaccounted for. And my position is it's island. Chris Monk's modelled it three-dimensionally. He agrees it's Ireland. There's only the ballers that argue because they have to relocate Ramsey as this Bala, whatever it was, which we don't believe is correct. It's miles out. Um, in any event, as we progress up the island, we see Snaefell and we see the other mountain next to it. It drops back down. And then you can see the Isle of Man appears to stop on the evidence here. This is where Ramsey starts, and it's very, very, very flat land. It's like a runway sly, very, very flat. And then we pan across, and this is where I've made my video, and this is the point I made. What on earth is this land? Because whatever this land is, it's if it's Isle of Man, it's very, very flat, and it stops at some point. And it stops, in relative to this point here, it stops around about here anyway, maybe a little bit further over. Uh, we see a boat in the, in the foreground, and the boat appears to be navigating its way around the Isle of Man. So we know the Isle of Man cannot go anywhere past this because there's a boat in the way. So wherever the Isle of Man... In fact, that actually, that's the proof in itself. We don't even need to identify the lighthouse. The fact that there's a boat in, going circumnavigating the Isle of Man is more than enough because he's, the Isle of Man can only be to the left and therefore there's no land. That's it in itself, Nathan. The boat proves that this has to be island. Um, but all of this land, I assert, is island. It's 90 miles away. It's supposed to be behind. Let me get the, the curve counts out. Once you On the use magic calculation, now I'm gonna I'm gonna round the shot. So, uh, ten seconds. Uh, distance in miles was I think it was ninety miles, and the viewer height was thirty. We'll give them a hundred. No, well I'll put it in at fifty. Um, it's supposed to be behind three thousand seven hundred feet. It's a mile of curvature, and we're seeing land. So the reality is, he, he, the boat proves that it's it, it can't be Isle, um, Isle of Man. So this this is proof, gents. This we are seeing the Isle of Man, and we are seeing Ireland behind it. It's supposed to be behind more than a mile of curvature. It's the, the boat proves it. Nate, over to you, mate. You can wrap it up. Cool. So with that, I'm going to say first and foremost a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for rejoining us on the backup channel. Be sure to subscribe to this backup channel if you have not done so already, and share the show. I've been Nathan Oakley. I'll see you all in the next video.